Hey YouTube, it's Larry again, doing another quick update on these uh, G Tower prototypes. Got a second one put together here. Man, I need to learn to quit shaking like that. Um, some minor modifications, but nothing, nothing big. Uh, if you remember what, on the construction of this one, I showed the keyholes that I cut in there. Uh, where I drilled the hole and then I used the jigsaw to cut two slots going uh, three quarters of an inch each direction to you know to the left and right of those those holes I've changed that and just added an eighth of an inch so the holes are now actually being cut you know seven eighths of an inch off to the left and right which makes it easier to get that uh, coke bottle into uh, after you heat it up without tearing any of the PVC. It makes a slightly larger hole which makes those uh, one and a half inch rock wool plugs easier to get in there. You don't end up compressing them or anything. Um, as you can see, maybe you can see, it's hard to tell. I don't know. The metallomedia is in there and the water is trickling through this the same way as the other one. I was just hoping maybe the camera would be able to catch part of that metallomedia in there so you can see that the water not only goes down the tower but also down the inside of that media so you have some amount of biological filtration and minor amount of mechanical filtration. Uh, I figure if you want mechanical filtration you can do like I did. I'm going to do another video here sometime soon but I have modified my little setup over here so I have a swirl filter on the left coming right off the fish tank and then a small particulate mechanical filter to the right of that. So if you do that then you don't ever have to worry about your towers plugging up with fish crap um, trying to think of what else oh if you were to look at these towers on the inside going down the front you can see this little zigzag pattern and that helps distribute the water evenly down all of your planters because when the water hits the edge of these it tends to seep into well you can see it there it tends to seep into the the plug a little better. Uh, let's see what else. I found that on the watering head itself, where I have the T connector, if you pull that up close to the top of that little styrofoam plug that I made. Oops, I cut this one a little too small. Yeah, that's why they call it experimentation, right? Um, if you pull it up near the top of that, that little foam plug actually works as a spreader plate. So aside from still getting your water straight down on top of your, your plugs, it helps spread it to the back so it runs down the metallomedia as well. Uh, what else? Oh, I timed myself making this one here. Um, taken me about the same amount of time uh, it's slightly under two hours about an hour and 45 minutes to make one so that's the same amount of time it was taking me to make a, a V tower these are only 36 in inches tall but they hold more plants than the one that's 42 inches tall go figure I don't really see any reason to go taller with them for my application out here now granted a person using these in a greenhouse may want a taller tower but in my case in this little area out here three feet is is perfectly fine and if I get the PVC tubes like this I can get three planters or three towers whatever out of one 10 foot section of PVC whereas with the other one I was ending up with two towers and three feet of scrap so this is probably going to work out better for me 
So that's all I have right now. Oh yes, what did I plant these with? The top four planters on this one, I put Swiss chard in, spinach in the next three, and then the bottom four, uh, butter crunch lettuce. So basically, when this thing matures, I'll have this salads for two people for two days. <laughs> I'm sure the little woman's going to love that. So that's all. See you next time around.